Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Me llamo Ronald y nosotros estaremos aprendiendo español. No, I'm just kidding. So today's topic, we're gonna be learning a door parametric, no, a parametric door family. So without further ado, vámonos. Okay, so to start off, uh, let's uh, click new so families. That was for this category. We're going to choose doors or door that was open, and then glue load lancia. Okay, so first uh, change your project units. Change the scale. Okay, so for this one, uh, again, uh, this is a, a wall. So, dito, ito yung host ng uh, family natin. So, this is just going to be an imaginary wall. And it's, it's not going to show up dito sa project na gagawin natin. I mean, sa paglo-load ng uh, family na to. And uh, for this one, I'm not going to be using this for now. Okay, so ito yung center line ng uh, wall okay and then uh, first thing to do is uh, let's go to interior so as you can see yung width niya is yung rough o rough openings din niya ito kasi yung width it should be the width of the door panel hindi kasama yung rough opening so yung goal natin today is we, we are gonna make another reference planes for uh, the rough opening okay so uh, RP So basically, ito yung uh, basis na natin for the rough, rough openings. Tapos, uh, we put dimensions here and make sure that's on center. And then uh, also for this one, add dimension. And for that one, we're going to ap apply parameters here for the rough width and rough height. Okay. Next, ito, if you click on this, this is the opening cut. You can see naman sa properties kung ano yung mga nasa-select nyo. So, we're gonna update this one and change its uh, updated locations. So, we're gonna remove the constraint and lock and to the other two sides. So, Kimbali Coast, ito na po yung new rough openings new but we're still keeping the width okay tapos uh next natin gawin is uh, we're gonna make a profile dun sa door jam natin or door frame so we're gonna use instead of extrusion we're gonna use sweep oops sorry before that uh we have to check our uh, set plane and by default specify to the center front back which is ito naman yung gagamitan natin we're gonna make our door frame to be on center of wall then click ok and use sweep then a sketch path tapos pick lines make sure it's locked and so ito yung oops sorry so ito na yung uh, path ng sweep natin and then next is trim tr then trim multiple that's tm Then check, edit profile, select natin yung floor plan kasi dito tayo gagawa nung profile. Tapos, uh, sketch na natin yung boundary ng profile. So today, yung design ng profile or ng frame is going to be uh, yung common na ginagamit natin sa Philippines. It's a single rabbit type door frame. Isa lang yung rabbit niya, this one. Okay, so uh, let's assume na yung thickness nito is 50. Okay, 50. Tapos, um, uh, this one sa doorstop naman, this one, we're gonna add a dimension here. Uh, let's say this one is uh, 15. Tapos, yung door 
frame uh, depth natin and uh, make sure na we also have a dimension from this to the center of wall to that and click equal this guy should be equal all the time okay tapos um ano pa ba ha ah, this one also kailangan may dimension din dito ito yung uh, thickness nung ano natin door panel so let's say 50 ayan so ito yung profile na tapos itong mga dimensions sa to we're gonna apply um parameters para pwede natin silang i-adjust anytime okay so for this one let's add a parameter name uh frame thickness tapos just click okay tapos for this one we are gonna name this door stop then okay tapos this will be we don't have we don't have to actually so we can lock that just to keep the dimensions kasi pag ilalock yan sa ibig sabihin it's gonna keep its dimension kahit na may adjustments dito okay so for example 152 kapag yan lumiit it will still have its 50 dimension okay so for this, we're gonna add and name this to frame frame depth. That was okay. Ayan. Then hit okay. Ah, change natin to 150. Ayan. Usually 150, uh, one, uh, 100, ganun. Ganun siya. That was hit Okay. Ayan. Tapos check ulit. Tapos if we go to 3D, ayan na siya yung itsura niya. Change natin yung drawing styles para drawing style para mas visible. Ayan. So yan na yun siya. So let's try to change its uh, parameters. Rough width to 1, 2. Then this one is, uh, no, this one is 900. Tapos, no, na, let's say for example that's 1000. And uh, 2, 3. It, it adjusts accordingly. Next, nothing gagawin is um, yung. So for this one, uh, medyo ano na siya, dikit na siya. So adjust muna natin yung rough with para hindi masyadong magulo at uh, nakakalito. Ayan. So next is we're gonna make a door panel. Okay, so create extrusion, extrusion, then pick lines, lock, uh, select the respective. Um, reference planes then hit OK ayan so 3D ayun so medyo makapal siya hindi medyo makapal nga siya so go back to reference level and we make sure that this door panel should align to this and that so align AL align these guys and lock ayan then uh, go to 3D again. Tapos adjust natin yung width to 900. That was this one to 2, 100. And okay, ayun, adjust siya. So the question, next question is how are we going to make this dikit, this door frame dikit to the door panel? So we go to family types and we're gonna make a formula to this and that so rough width and rough height so rough openings we have to make a formula para whatever adjustments that we do sa sa width and height ng door panel ay mag adjust din siya accordingly automatically okay so let's talk about the formula real quick so let me draw the frames and then uh, let me draw the panel. So basically, what we are looking for is to solve the rough opening formula. We need this. And apparently, uh, may mga information na tayong available. For example, this, we have a parameter which is frame thickness. This we also have 
a parameter which is also frame thickness. And this, we also have door stop parameter. Right? And for this one, we have also a parameter called width. So with this information, we will be able to solve the rough opening width or rough opening height. So yung formula is rough opening width is equal to width plus Frame thickness and the lower yung frame thickness. So the times to siya. Minus door stop. Times to din siya kasi dalawa siya. So basically, ganito lang yung formula niya. Rough opening with is equal to width plus frame thickness times 2 minus door stop times 2. Ganun din yung mangyayari sa rough opening height. So rough opening height is equal to height plus frame thickness Minus door stop. So basically, pagdating naman sa height, tigi isa na lang siya. Kasi isa lang yung frame sa taas at isa lang din yung door stop. So sa rough width, um, we just gonna copy yung ginawa natin. So for the rough width, width, that's width. And then uh, plus uh, frame frame thickness times two minus door stop times two. So that's going to be the formula. Yeah, as you may notice, yung rough width na ka grayscale na siya. That means not editable. Okay. Yeah, no, hindi na siya nakiklik. So. Same with the height, we make a formula height plus, um, since isa lang yung kailangan natin na frame thickness sa taas, so just type in there frame thickness, then minus isa lang din yung door stop sa taas, door stop enter, and automatically nag adjust na siya. Apply, okay, ayun, boom. So that easy. So meron na tayong door and door panel so next thing is how to create its parametric plan swing or door swing so kailangan natin ng door swing here and editable yung angle niya for example uh, you want to make it 45 degrees or 90 degrees so we're gonna load a nested family so, yung nested family is another family outside of this family. Tapos, ilo-load natin siya from that family to here. Para isang group na lang siya. Just like dun sa CAD, may dynamic block. So, it's like a dynamic block na may parametric siya dun sa loob. If you want to learn how to make a nested family for a door swing opening symbol, you can click the link above or find the link on the description box below. Alright, if you already have made your own nested family or door swing nested family, you can just load that to your project. Ayan siya. Tapos, uh, you can rotate this by uh, hitting your spacebar on your keyboard. Tapos, uh, before aligning this one, dapat itong door nested family door na ito, dapat pareha sila nung parameters na ginagamit. For, like for the width, uh, door angle, whatsoever. Okay? Just click on that, that was edit type, that was um, 
uh, make sure that the thickness, width, and height or lahat ng parameters na ginamit nung nested family should have the same parameters na ginagamit nung sa main file mo. So make sure that uh, itong parameter na to is using the same parameter na ginagamit dun sa main file mo. So yung thickness, uh, use the same parameter na thickness. Okay. Tapos yung width should have width and uh, so on. Okay, tapos okay. Tapos dito naman sa, para, uh, sa properties, may door angle din siya. So we have to make sure that this also have the same parameter. So kapag wala naman, you can just uh, click on this one to add parameter. So type in door angle. Tapos instance. Tapos this one should be graphics. And then uh, hit okay. Right, okay. Ayan. This nested family carries the same parameters that this family does okay so next is align, align lang natin siya uh, from to this one kasi yan yung ano natin uh, width tapos lock tapos uh, for the hinge point naman i-align natin siya dito tapos lock okay so try natin change yung width ng door okay if it's going to work so let's say for example it's 800 Sorry, 800, 800, oh, 800, apply, ayun. So, basically, it adjusts accordingly. So, try natin change yung um, angle. 45, apply, it's working. 90, apply, working. Tapos, let's say uh, 135, apply, still working. So, it looks like. Uh, it's working properly so that's it we're just going to load this one to show to para makita natin dun sa actual project uh, so let's uh, open up a project then of course uh, create a wall dito tapos uh, go to 3d para mas visible then uh load natin yung ginawa natin load natin to to the project one then place your door anywhere you want to. Ayan. So let's try to change its parameters. Uh, click the door. Tap us edit type. Um, let's change its uh, height to 25 and uh, width to 1 2. Ta-da! So, so it looks like there's no problem. So let's go on a plan. Let's see if it's working. That's the plan. It change its uh, change its um, height. Ah no! Wow! Change its width to nine hundred. Tada! Oh, okay, naman. At saka yung angle. Let's see if the angle is working. Kaya siya instance yung angle is para dito siya nahanap. Hindi na, no need na to go to edit type. So that's type. And this one is instance, basically. So let's try to change it to 45. Ta -da! So by the way guys, uh ito, itong panel na to, we don't want this guy to show up sa plant. So to make that hidden, uh go back to your family, tapos i-click nyo lang siya, go to visibility graphics, i-uncheck nyo lang yung plan RCP pati yung cut niya. Then okay. Tapos ayan, uh, papansin nyo, naka grayscale na siya. Then load it to your project. And just click override and it's just going to be hidden that's it i hope you guys have learned a little about uh making your own door family so let's try to change by the way this uh it's door frame depth to 150. Ta -da! so 200 Ta -da! so so basically ganun lang kabilis at kadali mag create nung uh, door family so i hope you guys enjoyed and uh <laughs> enjoyed <laughs> i hope you guys uh learned and uh sana ay hindi masyadong mabilis hindi nga ba masyadong mabilis yung pag-explain ko so just uh keep on going back and keep on practicing you'll definitely just uh will learn that uh right away so i'll see you guys on the next videos